Ladies and gentlemen, Commander Scorpius, welcome to Sunday. If you can hear my voice, that means everything's working. That means all the little pixies that try to climb around inside my PC have gone on holiday. And it also means that Windows hasn't broken things and there was an update. I was really worried. Uh, I did a system reboot before the stream started to make sure that I don't get any weird blue screens or anything like that. The side is off the case. Maybe that's how the gremlins got out. I've had to take the side off because I was getting some weird fan noise. You, uh, jump, but... you don't have cats, really. It yes, is... and and Harry can't jump up here. Not anymore. He's poor little legs. He can't manage it. So I was a... right. So I've been away for a week, week and a half, two and a half weeks. It's, it's all fl since I did the uh, Star Trucker uh, Wednesday stream on the fourth of. Uh, September. It was on the fourth, and uh, I. <laughs> yeah. All those jokes again. Yes. So, so that that was the that was the last time I did a stream, and um, because I've been I've been dealing with some work stuff, like so it's been highly intensive stuff with with my job, um. So I've not really had the chance. I've been exhausted basically. So I thought I'll take some time out, work on myself, get my old little things going. A little gong bong. I didn't do that, obviously, but um, you know what I mean. Uh, let's see who we've got. Wintermute, how are you doing? How are you, Connor? Thank you for the sub. Reese, my goodness, being, being tragic, I put him in there. Come on, More 30, 07 37 months, mate. You absolute <laughs> legend. Thank you so much. Oh. A Pappas, over 70. You, how are you doing, matey? Backers, how are you doing? Good evening to you, Backers. Loot, bro, seven to you. Uh, what's that? Just go after Bob. Yes, we, we'll come to that. Oh. Believe that. <laughs> J26, hello there. How are you doing? Dad, Technic07, the Hydras keep killing me at Shinrata. Ha ha, savage beast. Now I've got this image of Dan Technic. He's like, ha ha, he's got his foil. Like, <laughs> stop trying to hit me and hit me. <laughs> Like that, that's that's what uh, Dan Technic is doing now. Hopefully my Real camera. Has... Yeah. <laughs> Fearless, how you doing? We always peeps. What? How are we doing this fine Eve? We are doing well, I believe. Spooky, hey yo, how you doing, matey? And Joey Mawson, how you doing, buddy? Uh, what's this? I'm not tempting fate already, Winter. No, no. You did. Just... You said all that stuff. I did. About, yes, about I kind of did. Rebooting and no blue screens. And yeah, screen I can't. And... Mm. Bombs open and all that. Yeah, <laughs> but I can blame the Thargoids if that's what happens. <laughs> Jack, have a good evening to you. And Jack finally managed to get here early and find my seat. Now, if someone could just uh, pass the popcorn and uh, the oh, large yes. Pepsi. Well, that's what I'm drinking today. I've got a large Pepsi Max. Um, I'm off the alkyols this week. Uh, I'll just be here quite nice good and choice, quiet. Good choice. Good choice. Oh, it is good. Yeah, yeah. A tragic blue oh seven to you. Oh, we also got Commander Sinclair. How are you doing? How are you doing, matey? And um, Jack Havoc. Oh, I said hello to Jack Havoc. Yes, did I tell you? again. I did. Uh, uh, over the hill, Bill. How are you doing over the hill, Bill? Um, I'm doing fine. I hope you're doing well. Hope everyone is doing well. So I'm away for ten bloody minutes. Ten bloody minutes in the Thargoids. Invade Shinrata Desra? Shinrata Desra? You know why? I don't know why, but let's take a look at how. Right, here's what I don't understand. It is what I'm. I want to try and get answers to these questions, like because I'm a big fan of the law. I like. I like to uh, know that. Um, <laughs> <Not curious. laughs> Tis a silly place. Tis a silly place. <laughs> But the thing is, the thing is, right, so uh, we've got this whole Thargoid war thing going on, right? And they have been, where have they gone? I'll have to turn them off. They, they've been um, fighting. Like, so there's one left. No, there's two. No, destroyed, destroyed. One, there's two left, two of these things, right? So we're doing well. We're doing well. And they all flew in at redonkulous speeds, like you what mate speeds like if anyone was there with a gatso camera they'd be issuing tickets all day and and for the next hundred years hey funky pixie uh, the birds are taking the week off as well which is why i think oh uh, which is why there is whip space news ah there isn't whip space news 
<laughs> my brain can't work. Right. So, but what I want to see, here's what I want to see, right? So we've been fighting the blooming Thargoids. Have I got the things for the Thargoid War? Thargoid War, under attack starports. Well, we are there. Titans. Oh, right, I zoomed right out. So that's fine. That's fine. Have we got the dead Titans? The deads. Uh, so see this, right? Ooh, Look at this. Dead titans and Dungeons and Ooh. Dragons, haven't we? Oh, <laughs> looky look. Look at this. Look at this. All roads point to Shin. Well, you know, you know why this is happening, don't you? Where's Colsenti? I'll, I'll give you a quick clue. Oh, Ruby, 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 Ruby. That's okay. why. <laughs> okay. Um, but so happy anniversary, everyone must die. That's that, right. That's happy the way 40th. it works. Yep, yeah. happy 40th. And happy 40th. Now I'm going to break all your shit. Is that's that, right. Is, is that what it is? Right, where's call <laughs> 70? Call 70. Uh, call 70 sector. Uh, okay, so this is where they've come from. This is where they basically. Uh, so let's stick a pin there. And see. So they went tearing from there. Yeah, they shot straight through Bob's loop. Sorry, Barnard's loop. <laughs> Actually. Oh my god. Straight line. It is a straight line. It's a it's effectively a straight line through through Barnard's loop to Shinrata Desert. Mm -hmm. And all of these were the this was this their plan all along? Because look at this. Look at this, right? Oh, it's behind me. So let me move the camera around. You'll have to ask the Braben. Right. So, right. So look at this. They make they make this semicircle all the way around Shin. I didn't realize this. I thought that they were. I didn't look at this from the um, the, 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 the the distance. So. So that's Cole Seventy Sector, where we believe they're coming from. It's permit locked area. And they, it's straight through Barnard's loop, and then you've got all of these things, all all, all these things here, where um, they made this like, like a beachhead kind of thing, to draw. <laughs> Jack, <laughs> what's that? There's an elite <laughs> set in space everywhere as a direct line to Shindes. It's true, but I mean, I mean, like through the middle of a Barnard's loop, like you're going through the middle of a target, you know, mm. straight through. Right, but okay, so so because how else do they know to jump their mega ship one week in advance? Mm. Hey, Nymph Whale, how are you, buddy? Uh, no, so, it, so it's I mean, fair play to them. It's a very a very stylish way of fortieth anniversarying. It yeah. really is. It is. So it's so, it's the oldest nemesis in the game, and it's the the newest multiplayer thing the whole shinrata desert thing so it's like the oldest and the newest mm. crashing on a 40th anniversary space so it's really cool actually space space time is curved where matter where mass is involved but okay so i thought that this is going to be kind of random and like they're just picking on shinrata desert as like why not and i've got an entire I, i've got an idea for an l scorbius video which i won't spoil but um but why here, why Shin and not Sirius? What else is nearby? What else is nearby? Because uh, if they've been, if you want, if you want an in-game log logistic reason, right? Yeah. Uh, they they can they can understand our comms because they did the whole Morse code thing at the start, so they can. They monitor. do. They don't talk yeah. to us. They don't talk to us, but they're not idiots. They will know where all of the commanders are coming from. Sol is here. <laughs> They'll know where the headquarters of the people that have blown up their titans is. I guess, yeah. So it is the most populated That's with what it commanders. Is, yeah. So because you'd have thought they'd go for Sol, wouldn't you? Um, maybe they don't give a crap. Maybe, I mean, maybe they don't care about what their original homeworld was either. They don't care. Look, looking at this though, all they're bothered about is who's kicking their butts. Yeah, and where they come from. Sol oh, looks shit. to be the target, the ultimate target. Um, but Shindes, they've gone after Shindes. Dogs don't care about the Federation. Yeah. <laughs> they only care about the Pilots' Federation. The That's pilots. all they care. 
That's right. All right. So I was I was gonna have a bit of a moan in in so far as not a real moan, obviously, and that's reserved for the crime and punishment system. But I was gonna have a bit of a moan about like why Shinrata? It's a greedy cash well, grab because now everybody's going to want to get stuff and fight them. Uh, it's, it's 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 very good. I have to applaud it on two levels: one, the 40th mm. anniversary, and two, from the actual in-game logic. It makes perfect yeah. sense. I don't have any beef with it. Okay, but here's here's the other thing, though. Here's the other thing, right? So the Titans, they, um, even when they were at their strongest, they had to fly there, right? So these arrived. They had to fly there at ridiculous speeds, but they they had to fly there. Um, so how did these guys get here? How did these guys attack Shinrata Desra? Uh, non-elite players can help because let me bring up the, the thing. It should actually be in yes. the Galnet uh, News. For a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's check the Galnet News about all this. Yeah. So Galnet News. Dun, dun, dun. So this will be, this should be page one. Thargoid fleet invo invades Shinra to Desert. Let's get, uh, let's, shall, shall we read it in our, you, you, we haven't done this for a while. <laughs> Pirates Federation Alert. A Thargoid invasion fleet has emerged in the Shinrata Desra system, catching AX forces behind front lines by surprise. The massive alien force quickly struck ports in the system. Jameson Memorial remains online, but damaged. With local AX forces rallying to protect the famous mega market, an urgent call for aid by local governors has been made. Aegis is has agreed to remain focused on front on front line against the final two Thargoid Titans, while Sirius Corporation establishes supply lines to Shinrata Desra. Azimuth Corporation has offered to provide further incentives for pilots heading to the region. The corporation's megaships, the spirits of Leleps, however you say that, and M Musashi have moved into a nearby system, V886 Centauri. It's got a really nice, um, what's it there as well? Um, is it, what is it? Not White Dwarf? Uh, it but, will be a White Dwarf. Yeah, it'll be a White Dwarf. It's a nice, neutron that close. Yeah, nice and swirly. Dwarf. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, lends, to lend further support, the Pilots Federation has granted temporary permit to all commanders to access the system for two weeks. How long? Two weeks. It's always <laughs> yes, two <exactly>. weeks. <laughs> Early reports indicate that the Pilots Federation has taken notably high casualties, with hundreds of commanders active in the region lost during the initial heavy fighting. Pilots looking to assist the AX efforts should first sign up to the defense fleet by visiting rescue ships in Cornwallis in the V886 Cent Centauri system before progressing into Shinrata Desra. With Jameson Memorial unavailable for regular trade, two other mega markets remain available. Uh, I Solar Prospect in uh, Bresla and Excellent. Atlas Orbital in CD4311917. We will get around to naming it soon. So yeah, so no, new pilots. Some, someone's actual name that was. Yeah, that's that's named after a guy named um, no, CD forty three. Yeah, that was <laughs> just his nickname. His real spelling was the words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his name's CD for short. Yeah, CD. It's just CD. All right, CD. Yeah, no CD. <laughs> My full name, and you know he's in trouble when his mother. Um, shouts, CD431917, you come here right now! <laughs> oh no, I'm in trouble! I'm in trouble now. <laughs> in so much trouble. Now you eat your dinner! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So how did they get here? That's Be on the alert for Thargoid counterattacks is the thing. Oh, is this, was this a previous... Well, it's, it's... Oh yeah, there we are, right? Okay. See. Yes, oh, this is on the tenth. Good old Aiden Tanner, yeah. Yes. Uh, what does he sound like again? Oh, I can't remember. He sounds different every time we do. He does. He does. <laughs> he does sound different every single time. Is there a DVD forty three one one seven system? <laughs> <laughs> it's a the updated Blu-ray version. Yeah. Uh, the bigger brother Blu-ray. He's massive. <laughs> um, CD forty three was a, a failed C three PO concept. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. 
Um, right, so let's just get the general gist of this. Uh, they're as dangerous as they've ever been. Okay. Um, Aiden Tanner, a special military advisor for the Aegis Project, has warned the potential for targeted thargoid assaults on key military in locations. Is this foreshadowing? Speaking wow. through a... To, Speaking during a recent graduation ceremony for the last batch of federal... This was on the 10th, yeah. Yeah, federal AX recruits, Tanner warned against complacency following the destruction of the Titan Thor last month. You don't say it during... You can't say, oh, I gave you my warning. It was during this during one... During a recent Cere graduation <laughs> yeah. ceremony. Yeah, it's like, no, you go to the you go to the top, mate. You go to the top and you, you give your warning there. All these, all these recruits all saluting away after yeah. graduated. And you go, it may seem we have the upper hand in this war. And you think, oh, God, here he goes. He's off again. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and there's no shame in taking pride in our accomplishments. And they're certainly, we're certainly in a better place than when the Thargoid invasion started. But the Thargoids are just as dangerous as they've ever been. Entering a conflict zone with anything less than full focus would be a terrible mistake. Think of how hard you'd fight if you fought the Thargoids, or if you thought the Thargoids were driving our fleets back a little further every day. That's the situation our enemy finds themselves in. Oh, I see. His point's got a good point there. However, they don't think they're like we sex, do. Though. They're in sex, though. They're in sex, not us. Yeah, he's he's basically stirring them up. In fact... Kick, kick them like a hornet first, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> While our bosses push towards the remaining two titans, Aegis is always watching. Always watching. For counterattacking efforts behind our front lines. We know the Thargoids can travel via portal technology. Now they're thinking of portals. Allowing them to spring ambushes on our ports beyond any fleet blockades. Total foreshadowing. What we're less clear on is how the aliens assign value to potential targets. And now my accent is changing during these sentences. During the end of day, it's just... <laughs> oh, God. Important systems are well protected, but we're playing catch up when predicting the Thargoids' next move. Arr. When you join our AX forces in combat for the first time, remember, look out for each other and always expect the unexpected uh, mating. Always expect the unexpected. <laughs> and then his parrot and his peg leg walked off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone wrong, haven't we? <laughs> uh, gone. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, that's right. They roll a d20 like everybody else. <laughs> no I one escapes the rules. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems that we are aware they have portal technology. Now, I don't understand what that means. I mean, to me, jumping into wit space now is portal technology. So they... Isn't but... it? But when so when we travel to a system, we have to lock onto a gravity well, don't we? A large star, and then they've, that gets us to the other that, side. That, that black and green warbly thing. Yeah. Which which is it stays open than a, a standard hyperspace ball. So it's it's a bit portly, I guess. Yeah. Yes, and given that it is the elite's fortieth anniversary, I mean that's pretty impressive. I have purchased a little livery for the um, a ship. I'm not getting them all, all of them because they're a bit pricey. They're a bit pricey to get them all together. Yeah, 10k nice. each arcs. The 10,000 arcs each. Well, they are very nice. And and the, But the... Um, this is I like free. the horns. This is free. So you can get these for free. So if you want these, the 40th uh, anniversary um, decals, the decal. they're free. A beautiful Christmas uh, ornament red, isn't it, though? Yes. Bloody Zeno's attacking Shirata. Who could have guessed? Oh, and by the way, as an Azimuth Biotech Commissioner, I must protest against spreading harmful and dangerous yes, misinformation. Yes. All the conspiracy theories about our corporation involvement in the Thargoid attacks are false. Our independent fact-checkers have debunked them. Our independent. Yeah, our independent fact-checkers. <laughs> nice one. Is, this is a nice paint job, though. I do like it. Well, I like the way with the paint job like that and the fins, it looks like horns. You've got swept back horns after the cockpit yeah. there. Like a dragon's yes, head. That's, that's You've true. got a dragon's head there. That's cool. You're trying to do, you're trying to do the um, the rescue missions, but unfortunately, they can't be done in open. Pray tell why, Andrea. That's interesting. So interesting. what's happening? 
Oh, the Python in the showroom. Can you show us the Python in Ruby Red? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, bleh, 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 bleh. Can yeah, I? Such a red is... dragon head thing you've got going on there. Yeah, I show. don't actually have the Python here, but I, I'll, oh. I can tr I can try. I can try. Uh, oh, I know how I can do it. I I know I know I can do it. I can do it like this, kind of. <laughs> I can do it in here with the paint jobs. Paint jobs for the Python or the Wibbly Woo Python Mark II. So that's what it looks like. It's it's very nice. Um, yep. It's just the one picture, but um, it's ten well, thousand you, though. It's, like, it's a bit you, much. You can you can see the you can see the red of it. On yeah. this ship, so just yeah, put, so put your mind in Python modes with that red. <laughs> yeah, so, it but is basically, a very nice Christmas it is nice. red. It is very ruby. Yes, yes, it's very, it's very nice. Um, the oh, I don't know, Thomas. What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, Thomas, uh, livery. Does anyone know if the Thalgoid bobbleheads chat. will be available with the heart and meta alloys uh, from the tech broker, mm. or has that long since gone? Know, someone mean? in chat might know that one. What do you mean by that? The chat heart... not very knowledgeable. Right, so I think so. Starport surfaces are offline. Can I do livery here? Because I'm actually at James Memorial right now. Uh, I can't do livery. I can do advanced maintenance. What do I need to do with advanced maintenance? I'll, I can buy um, stuff. Internal repairs. Can I do? Mm. Oh, I can't do internal repairs. Okay, but what I did do, what I did do, I'll probably have to fly to another system to, to get it. So V886, I'll go there. Um, but So I, I have purchased for the princely sum of £13, minus one penny change, um, the AX Chieftain, because I want to see if it's worth it. So I'm not very good at anti-Xeno stuff, so there is no point me putting a build together at this point so i thought you know what they're selling these things um for um for commanders to for new commanders effectively for new commanders oh going backwards um to um oh, got a Just rock up yeah so so the idea is anyone can come here and if you've got 13 pounds you can buy a ship which has the added benefit of Zero cost rebuy. But they are they're making a mess of things around here. Look at this, it's on it's been it's got its melty stuff going on. It ain't nice. No, that's not right, is it? Jameson Memorial, the words covered in green goo. Yeah. Somebody has How very them. dare they. Yeah. And oh and there's a bit on fire. I don't think they're meant to be on fire. No, they should really try not to go on fire. That's yeah. my advice. But I'm going to get out of here while I still can in this ship. Uh, right, let us get into... Actually, let's go to V886. Just, just happily, just bumbling along. There we go. You are over here. I'm going to pick up that ship. I'm going to see if it's any good. If not, then it's a it's a chieftain that's got zero rebuy. Are you at a rescue ship? I don't think they do. It has to be a station. I don't know. I don't know. Um. I don't know. I mean, do, do you get hypothetical? Or is it just a case of uh, get into the system and kick ass because they want you to? Mm. <laughs> well, we'll see, won't we? If, if it's rubbish, then it's rubbish. Don't try to use the beam laser. You need one with thermal vent. Whoa! Shininess. I've, I've done quite a few episodes here, actually. Um, I think. Uh, did I shoot. Um... Pan City. The uh, Christmas Carol one. Yeah, I did. That was a stunt double back in the bubble. That was probably it. 
Well, I'm going to pick up my ship first because I'm not going to do anti Xeno stuff in this. I'm not good at anti Xeno stuff, just so you know, as I've said before. So we'll see, won't we? And WeJet, thank you for that, mate. 20, 29 months you've been subbed. Thank you so much, mate. Thank you so much. Really, really kind. Yeah, well, we want to try it out. It's just, just vanilla out of the box and see how it goes. Because that's what. And Naomi, thank you, you for the follow. Right, so what's that? The beam laser is not really a good one, but uh, on it, but it is it isn't really bad either. I think we are like let's see, because I think if we're worried about like min maxing our builds, you're never gonna get that. And spelling is heart. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. It's a good name. Nice <laughs> one. Yeah, so we'll give it a go, because like if it's supposed to be a Namikami, thank you for the follow. Is it Namikami? Thank you for the follow. I will learn to read one of these days. I think I'm getting a bit long in the tooth at the minute, but who knows? There's still chance. So well, the get... number of letters isn't increasing, so it's okay. It's not like you're up against more. <laughs> hey, I'm peculiar. How you doing, bud? Oh, Neve. Neve. Ah, uh, right. Gotcha. Neve Carney. Okay. Ah, uh, it's an is that an Irish name then? Oh, and Old Peculiar, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much, mate, with your Prime as well. Thank you, mate. Right, I'm going to go to Tan City. Awesome. Yeah, I Irish spelling is its a trap for, for, for people oh, who don't know how it's spelled. It's like, how do you think that's spelled? I have no idea. <laughs> and Thomas Up, thank you, thank you for that. Da, 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 da. I'm spooky. Spooky's oh. doing the oh, fortieth anniversary spooky. gifting. Oh, thank you, mate. It's really kind of you. Thank you so much. I'm it's getting bopped on the head by uh, by yeah. things. Oh, right. I'm not... <laughs> dodge him, dodge him. <laughs> oh, how does it pronounce that? Uh, Lizard. Is that that sounds like a French name? Thank you for the follow. You saw you're already following. Uh, oh, and Roaming Nimbus, thank you for the follow as well. It sounds like a cloud. Some cool names. I don't know if it does the thing. Uh, and but but oh, be lucky again. Thank you for the follow as well. I swear the targoids turn up here as well. And Pope Rap, thank you for the sub. My goodness. Is this oh this is all the um, the subs Spooky going out to people. Spookies. Spookies. This is yes. Oh yes, so you were already fun. Oh I again learning to read. To Not being overwhelmed. But yes, this this is the new paint job on this ship. It's very pretty. Where's the where's the door? There's the door. Let's see if I can get it. Close the door and it matches the stations. All right. Federation red. Oh, Where's the ship gone? All right, well, well, let's... I don't know, he's, he's still flying in there. There he is. We'll watch it go in. All right. Oh, you're getting close to unlocking the Corvette. Took me blimmin' ages, that did. There she goes. Well, now's a good time with all the goids kicking off. Good time to have a blimmin'. Mm. Yeah, so uh who that that be that be a <laughs> a commander that be Ooh, that is Alien Hunter. I knew it. Andy K, how you doing mate? Yeah, it's taking me a while, but you're enjoying just doing mass commissions. You're in no major rush. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Cause I, I was trying to do it as quickly as possible um, on stream. So I did like three or four streams of just like constant grinding uh, to try and do it. To prove a point, really, more than anything, that's that it's not fun. I don't find grinding fun. Some people do. They just, But like just doing missions and playing the game at your own pace, that's definitely, I I feel, the way to um, to do it. I've got a pre-built ships now and I'm 
and do this here. I own that guy and I own that guy. So hopefully this will let me... Yes, I own this item. How do I... Oh, I think I do it in the thingy, don't I? In the shipyard. <laughs> yeah, you did a uh, rank rank of grinding, but then you just gave up. You need the credits and materials anyway. The line seats ready to deploy. Lovely shiny green. Yeah, it's a nice paint job. Deploy the pre-built ship. All right, let's have a look. I can now take a look at it. You have too much cargo to move the ship. What cargo? Limpets. It's limpets. It is limpets. It's 63 limpets. That's... You think they'd know, wouldn't they? Oh. And like ignore limpets and just put yeah. them back in stock because limpets. The thing is, like, we will be so happy with Frontier if they let us store the stuff that's in the ship with the ship. Limpets, yeah. cargo, yeah. all that good stuff. Switch ships. I want to do... I've, I've done some mining. My Type 9's full of goodies. There's no way that my combat ship is going to be able to fit it all in. I don't want to sell it here. I want to do another activity. So if Frontier did that, they, oh. we would be so grateful. Mm. We'd be like, yes, thank you. It's only taken 10 years, but thank you. <laughs> a purpose, thank you for all the bits. Yes. I've got to try and catch them. Oh, it slipped through my fingers. Just like real life. I don't know, Andre. It's it's always struck me as a weird thing. Yeah. You no. Know? Uh, I think it's, it's, it's more likely to be logistical than gameplay. It's money, because um, storage like they already they already have a database storing like the ships you have, and there's a finite number of those, and the what what's in a station as well. And so there already is some storage, and storage costs money. Um, but I don't see a problem with like having x like an inventory record on your ship record i don't see why that's a problem but anyway i suppose it keeps the bills consistent uh any people still playing star citizen is the game ready or finished yet uh i haven't been playing it but um i know that some people have i saw a a video by morphologists that the, they were doing some um server meshing tests and they had um, oh, hundreds wasn't it yeah a thousand but then he started game wrong so yeah so they got to they got to make some oh now i'm gonna switch my ship so they got to do some extra work and it seemed like the it seemed like the um some of the things that they need to do when you have a hundred players in the same space to keep a frame rate of any um thing mm -hmm. is to it's it's obvious stuff like culling because like I don't know if you noticed in Star Citizen the the armors and the clothing they're really high detail, so oh, they are so you have a hundred, two hundred, three hundred people in a room, then um, you can yeah, imagine the, a lot um, of moving stuff around on your video card. Yeah, the uh, uh, the character models <laughs> are pretty high high mesh as well. <laughs> Yeah, the character models are really... But then that's what lodging is for. But that's to help with the rendering. But if you imagine every texture that is being used has to be stored on your video card so it can be drawn. So the more of those that you have, you've got all of the environment, and then you've got all every character who's present, their textures, and it's a lot. And if... Ooh, I can only imagine how hard it, that is. It's in a good place right now. Um, I've heard that. I've heard that. So there's some we, good we stuff might going have on. We might look at it next hmm. time. We don't know. We'll see. Hey, Henry Kissinger. How are you doing, buddy? Right, so this is the anti-Zeno um, Chieftain. Now, you all know I love me a Chieftain. Good ship. Really good ship. I have no idea how to use this to its best effect, though, for anti-Zeno stuff. Well, try it out until you die. Because you will, and no cost mm. rebuy, and then chat will tweak it for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, first of all, it needs a name, and I'm going to put I'm going to put the um, the icons on it. So I, I have the anti-Zeno icons, the, the, the things. Your main weapons are class one, 
gorses and three multi cannons. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with what's on here at the moment because it these are engineered, aren't they? And if I sell them, if I remove them, I don't get anything for them. Right. We are we are killing thogs. So death to the bugs. Death to the bugs. You having fun getting back into Elite, Mr. Face? What is happening to my frame rate? Frame rate's tanking right now. What is going on? This is slow. No, not that one. That. Oh, prohibited. Oh, no. Oh, it. Derp. I'm such a derp. <laughs> it, it is there. But it's, it's just there. You dark. just can't see it against the. I'm such yeah. a blooming derp. Oh dear. <laughs> that we did the that bloke from D Ream last that time. Bloke. We did the bloke from D Ream. <laughs> we it's already it's already been. I have another ship called that bloke from D Ream. That bloke from D Ream, yes. <laughs> We're gonna change all my ships to that bloke from D Ream. It's. Is that what you want? Because that's what'll happen. Uh, oh dear. Uh, let's let's let's. Oh, Jack Little. That bloke from Jack Little. <laughs> I mean, it's your. Oh dear. Well, do you want some of that's got AX in it? Some of that's got fortieth in it. Or... No, it'll be AX Jack Little. Jack the Axe. <laughs> yeah, it's an AX Jack Little. Axe Jack. So, Axe Man Jack. Yep. <laughs> it should be actually AX Dash Man Jack Little. Axe Man Jack Little. Right, so we'll have. Oh, is that? Yeah, we'll have the white skulls. Jack's Little. Yes, Jack's Little is good. J A X little C. That's good spelling is up. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. But the thing is, Spooky has to agree because it was Spooky's thingy. Oh yes, it's true. It's true. Uh we'll have that. We'll have that for the ID. And we'll All right, Spooky. You like it too. It. Okay. So we'll change we'll change it to Jack's. We're going Jack's Little. Jack's Little, yes. Okie dokie. And, and it's going to be called R-Y-L-V Because he is a real boy. <laughs> you just have so many points. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. That's a dangerous position to be in, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so we get... Are we going to bother with any of this because they've got the new ones as well for the uh, that I don't currently own, but there's the the Thargoidy ones. How much is that? Uh, where's the Thargoidy ones? They're further down, I think. Look at that. So you got the Revenants. Uh, oh, we got the Titan, big Titan bob bobblehead. The Ruby one, there is a Ruby um station bobblehead. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna end up spending all my money. What else have we got down here? That's that's it. So we might I might get the Titan one actually because that's quite cool. I did like the Titan. Titan one is cool. Yeah. yeah. This is this is what happens though. All all my money's going. It always <laughs> happens. Always does. Always happens. Is there another oh. Thargoid? Uh Freaky Technology wanted to explain a thing, and the thing being the history of the ship name and the ID. <laughs> of this ship name? Apparently, yes. Or in general. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't know. I have to clarify that one. Right. So we'll have that, that one. So, uh, that's the only one we're getting. Uh, explain the history of the ship name and ID. Okay. Okay. I mean, you only get yourself to blame. Oh, boy. Epaphos, leave the room. <laughs> yeah. Once upon a time, 
a long time ago, when we first started to travel from one village to another, we would we would initially walk and our available knowledge and uh, cultural variety was very limited. It was very limited because we could only travel as far and as fast as we as we were able to on our own, on our own two feet. And until the days of a uh, horse and cart. And um, that actually amplified our power and harnessed the power of the horse to make it so that we could travel a lot further and we could visit then other towns much, much further away that would ordinarily take days and days and days, but sometimes weeks to get there. And you'd have to obviously pack for the trip. And it's, it's a lot of effort. So we were suddenly able to uh, amplify our traveling and exploration and knowledge capacity. With this, we didn't really worry about naming anything because horses were interchangeable. The owners of the horse would obviously name the horse, but as a person, somebody do trade. You, just, you could switch horses at an inn, get another horse, and then off you go. They were, after all, trained to do this. Uh, so you could switch and get fresh horses. The cart was just the cart. It was that sort of, we didn't name it. It was only when people started to have a lot more personal attachments to things like a horse. If you have a personal attachment to your very own horse, you give it a name. And to things like ships and boats and things like that. So we would name the, the vessel something deeply personal to us or deeply personal to the organization who owns the, uh, the vessel, like a ship or um, something like that. So the Navy had their, their way of, of writing the names, HMS such and such being a good example. Now, fast forward thousands of years, and there still is the tradition of naming vessels to something so that we can, we can see it a mile away and understand that this is a, an important thing to someone. Uh, not that it really matters anymore, because just like the horses of old, the ships are pretty much interchangeable. We just buy one, it gets blown up, we get another one, it's exactly the same name. So perhaps the time has come that we do away with the names of the ships, because these days they're mostly either jokes or they are um, something to um, let you know what the build is as as they become commoditized and and I don't know, it's just just the use that they're marked only by their usefulness. So just like the original horses on the old treks, going down to uh, from town to town, switch the horses um, for long distance. We have this with our ships. So, um, otherwise though, how do you know if a ship has committed crimes or the weapons attached to them are criminals? Because the weapons themselves don't have names apart from their types. This meandering answer hopefully goes some way to explain why we have ship names and often why the ship names are um, invented by chat and just to troll the streamer often more often than not i hope this explains to some point oh, i thank you <laughs> big gun magoo they should they should actually have names shouldn't they if you've engineered your weapon you should call this one this is lucky bob cannon 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 him at cannon face yeah why can't we do that well basically what i'm doing is i'm, I'm look like, i don't want to go outside because he's scary okay so we got this to uh to go and fight the Thargoids. So what weapons do we have? Fire grips, beam laser, gorse cannons, mul AX multi cannons, nanite torpedo pylon, uh, repair limpets, research limpets. Your ship's name is cannon fodder. Oh, it doesn't have a, a docking computer. Oh, you Phoenix, the goid, the goid chew toy. Is that what? We're going to be calling... What is going on with the frame rate? What is going on? I was having real frame rate issues as a Type 9. This is that Type 9. Ah! Oy! Come on. Attention. Do not loiter in this area. Not loitering. I was trying to avoid a massive Type 9. 
No, but the thing is, I'm going with the... Uh, I'm seeing what I can do with this. It's a utility anyway, though, isn't it? Or is it a weapon? Oh, it's in one of my slots. So, Gauss Cannon, Beam Laser, AX Multi Cannons. Okay. <laughs> Drives like my mother. Yes, um, so the... So, yes, yeah, so the Nanite Torpedo Pylon was for the Titans. Uh, it was the only way you could hurt them. I am going to put... Oh, I guess that can, that can go there. On the next one. And we don't need that one at all. But I'm just going with the... Um, I'm just going with the build to, to see what the out-of-the-box thing does. Pretty usable most of the time for scout hunting. I disagree. It's great fun watching the torpedoes bounce off the Thargoids. Uh, right, so let's go back to... Ooh, this, this, let's see what this has got, actually. I should have done that, shouldn't I? In the modules for this, we have got uh, thrusters which have been engineered. Show me the info. So they're grade 5 dirty drive engines with drag drive effect. Doesn't that make them hot? Uh, thermal load. So I think that makes them hot, doesn't it? But it does make you fast. The Gauss cannons have been engineered. Guardian Gauss cannons have been modified. Uh, they got anti guardian zone resistance. So if you're in a zone which melts your guardian weapons, these are protected. They don't go bang like the other ones do. And I'm guessing that's what this one's got as well. Uh, show info. Yeah, so it's got the anti-guardian zone uh, resistances on it. Better to have dirty drives. Uh, if you if you care about heat, uh, you can drift with FAR. Oh, I guess, yeah. And nothing else is engineered, by the looks of it. So it's just the, the thrusters and the, uh, the these Gauss cannons so that they don't get destroyed if you're in a field. Okay. Back to Jameson. So anyone can go to Jameson Memorial now. Anyone can go to Shinrata Desra for two weeks. So you have a permit now. Being on fire is not that bad if you get away. That's very wise. Uh, however, the uh, being on fire or melting because you've got caustic damage. Oh, has this got, has this got decontamination when pits? Research and repair. It doesn't have decontamination. Alright, well, we'll try it. Let's see where we can go. Dun dun dun. Does it have a caustic sink? What's a caustic sink? Same as a heat sink, but it miraculously gets rid of alkali damage. Ah, uh, okay. Don't ask me how it works. Uh, okay. I should have done that really before I jumped then, shouldn't I? Can I do it in here? Well, Freaky says it does. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. There's nothing wrong with the ship except it's on fire. I've tried not being on fire. Right, let's go over to Jameson. Well, if you can repair ordinary damage, you see, you just burn the core stick on. <laughs> then repair the ordinary damage later. Yeah, but if you're in the middle of a fight, you don't want your ship to be melting No, you want to get away. out of the way first. <laughs> Air cut. Yeah. yeah, so I've done that before, but then I always end up overcooking it, not meaning to make a pun. Does this have... Oh, it doesn't have a super duper drive. That's kind of what you want. Although... although the Thargoids aren't interdicting us. Oh, well, I say that, that I? And they start to interdict me. You knew it. Moment I say the bloody words. All right, I'm going to submit. What is it that's after me? Uh, a marauder. Let's see where it is.
I'm in the wrong mode. Fighting mode. Where's my thingy? Come here. Oh, I'm really not good at this. Keep still, you little shitbag. It's not toxic. There you go. My shields are applying. Okay. And my weapons. Right, he's dead. He dead. Who's next? Right. After that embarrassing start, we can we can start working with this now. Oh, you haven't done combat in this for a while. I haven't. It's been a while. Finger memory, it's a weird thing. There's a frame shift anomaly detected. So these are the AX multi cannons then. Yeah, they're good for that. Oh, don't go in the thingy. Come on. Reload. Uh, I'm hearing something big and gribbly. Oh, bollocks. Go away. No, 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 no. Us. It's just a Cyclops. Yeah, but I'm rubbish at this. Wake up, ship! Wake up! Well clip, Funky. Well clip. Wakey, 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 ship! Yeah, but you have to have it as a... Uh... Come on, go, 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 go! Get out of the way! I don't know what it's currently set to. Fire groups for that. Uh, pulse neutralizer. It's set to something bonkers. Right, arg. Right, I'm going to get out of here. Who's that? Oh, we're going to have a crack at it. That is... That's an NPC. AX Pilot Morris. What are you doing, Morris? What are you doing? Run. Has he scared it away? Someone from the Pilot's Federation to buy him a drink in the bar later. Yeah. Uh, pulse neutralizer uh, on the left can can be hotkeyed. Uh, probably will have to do that, won't I? Oh, I'm running. Oh, hot no, point. Do you? There is Morris. What's he saying? What did Morris say? With... Right, Commander, and you beg her off. <laughs> now the bugs aren't going to let us pass through this system unattended. Just a matter of time. Looks like we ha looks like we have some backup. Pushing the Thargoids out of our home, right, Commander? Yeah, 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 whatever. Commander, Commander. Bollocks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at the anti Xeno stuff. As I've mentioned. Caustic damage? Where? Uh, the ship's default includes one fire group selection that has it. Yeah, so, although it's course it yes i've got it there on that one so that absorbs the caustic damage and when it fills up you have to eject it right yeah it just uh, i don't know how it works it's the soaks up all the bleach yeah it, it sort of wipes its little wipers on the surface of the hull into a sponge. yeah it's got something I don't know. Something, something, sponge, something. You deserve a slap up for that one, by the way, Domasov. <laughs> what was that? Morris got your back, and he says he's a miner. Oh, Morris miner. Oh no. I know. <laughs> There's a song about that. We know a song about that, don't we, Billy? Oh dear. Why do they have to be Thargoids in Shinrata? Because Ruby. 
Though that's not logical at all. Yeah, it is. You can't say because Ruby. Well, I guess it does. It does mean that people can uh, have a bit of a, a dust up with the Thargoids. Uh, weapons out. Come on. My weapons aren't out. Oh, they are. Okay. Fight. Weapons out. Come on. All right, Ganymede, you get a slap as well. <laughs> well, weapons aren't coming out. Um... Did they get? Did the module get out? Good to have you on the team. Let's kill some Thargoids. All right, there we go. Die. Die. Where's, where's the other one? I wasn't able to see. Mistake, City Board. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, he says if the repair ship pilot is called Austin, you can call him Austin Healy. Oh He's my Healy. God. <laughs> That's what it's like to take. Uh, fire? Why is it not firing? Oh, no pips and weapons. That explains it. Hey, why am I here? Why you am know, I even trying? Oh, Bleach! If Tato was in chat, he would have yelled that about a minute ago. Probably. He would have. He would have. <laughs> uh, but he's not here, so... so... This is fine. I thought we didn't need them for this. Oh, I guess using the Gauss Cannon thing eats up um, energy, doesn't it? Because so, I actually want like, stuff in shields, don't I? Uh-oh, something's coming in. Well, considering it's a high-velocity magnetic accelerator, yes, I'd imagine it would use some energy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Jameson Memorial. We'll protect you. Oh, what's 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 that fight? That is a out of range. Oh, dead. Oh, look at that. I didn't even do nothing. Interceptors are coming in hot, are they? I can't move this bloody other joystick out of the way because it's hitting my, my controller. Oh, yes, that's probably a good idea. Oh, uh, we're going to get a thingy. Next, it's the uh, L Scorpius private grid, isn't it? We should have to do some yeah. logistics for later. But yeah. Does this work on these things? Am I hurting this at all? Oops. Ah! Energy search. Where's my thingy? Ow, oh, bugger it. I couldn't get the thingy fast enough. So I'll just sit here quietly. Shh. Everybody be quiet. Be quiet. We're up to the guns. Stop it! Ah! Right, where's my... I've got my sink launcher there. Oh, this is not good! Not good! Not good! Um... 
Hurry up and get the shields back! Yeah, so we're in the L Scorbius private group, EL Space Scorbius, uh, if you want to join it. Um, everyone's welcome. Until they're not, we'd never have to kick anybody out. Um, we've got all, all kinds of people in there. Some uh, PvP players uh, are in there. Uh, everybody behaves themselves, so it's all good. Better off in a CZ zone. Oh, yeah, what? It, it, These are buddy? Well, it probably, probably doesn't help to have a, a huge station sitting there in terms of processing that jazz. So, when we go to those zones, we have to pick a side. We can't just say, I'm going to protect the Thargoids. Right, you. I'm going to. Well, it's, it's more sort of player versus pests at the moment, Cal. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, the... Um, Gary says that's a basilisk. Oh, is that bad? Yeah, you don't that's really want to mess with that one. It's an interceptor, just a normal interceptor, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Cal, I heard PvP. I am summoned. I am summoned. <laughs> oh, dear. Getting out of here for a second. Oh, I'm at 27%. Yeah, oh. and, and you're also a bit caustic, so... Yeah, I've got my caustic jobby... I can get rid of that. Yep. Pump one that's, that. that's gone. Th throw that soaking sponge of Domestos away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gonna, I'm going to try and go and get some, some help. Chlorine trifluoride or whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. So the Thargoid Interceptors have a defeating mechanism to go through. Uh, I'm pretending to be a new player. So we can see, I've, I've just bought myself a shiny new AX ship. True. Um, true. I see a baddie, I'm going to shoot at it. <laughs> it's like, this is what other players would do. Brand new players would would, uh, would not know all this, would they? No. Right. There isn't a ship here that I can go to. So I'm going to jump to, where is it? and get some repairs. V-886 Centauri. I see what you did there, Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> I can restock it at the port. Oh, where, which port? Port, 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 port. Well, Jameson's yeah, you can. Oh. It'll do repair and rearm, but. Oh, it will do. Right, yeah. okay. Just don't that, drive by a, by a bag of crisps or anything. Yeah, I'm going to go to V-886 Centauri just for a second, just to, uh, I'll get repairs and we'll see well, about point, right? changing because out one of the if modules. You, if you watch what the NPCs are saying, you will know at least a bit of it. You won't go in completely uninformed because the NPCs okay. do sprinkle a bit of combat wisdom in there. So I've got read. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember? Um, oh, wow. It's like five. Five six years ago now, there was a a little plugin that you could have on your computer that would read the NPC chat and play it back using various text to speech yes. uh, voices. It was really good, but I think because obviously the services that it was using were costing money, uh, or they were like abusing free services. So I don't know if um, probably the latter. I think yes. Yeah, yeah, so. so hmm. There's no one I need to rescue, is there? So let's go to Tanner City, get some thingies. Is it a good idea? I did. Although, don't use me as an example. I do silly things all the time. That's also true. So yesterday, after I saw this, I thought, you know, we'll be, um, no, it was Friday, actually. I thought I'll log out at uh, Jameson. So when we do the stream, there's none of this um, buggering about <laughs> trying, to, trying to get to the place 20 jumps later. And uh, so, but I actually did all, I did the jumping to get there beforehand. Um, but yes, the uh, still still no further forwards have I. <laughs> but I haven't died yet. That's always a good start. I'm gonna get my repairs. I'm gonna get rid of this um, pylon. So I'm not interested in pylon stuffs. ED Copilot can do that. Oh, it can do the voices, can it? I've got to hydrate. <laughs> I've got a minute. <laughs> I've got a minute. 
Oh yeah, we fly to Tennessee. Right, I've got my Pepsi Max. I haven't got any water with me or any beer today. On on the Pepsi Max. You're Dr. Jameson, and you can't get limpets here. You can synthesize them, though, can't you? Uh, knowing that uh, where the hearts are, use the enhanced Xeno scanner that your ship has. A scanner. I've said this all along, you know, like the the AX com combat stuff is so so far removed from the normal combat stuff. It's almost a different game. So so you branch off, don't you, to to do this other activity. So if we have an AX scanner, I didn't notice it. Oh, Xeno scanner. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, so I was just, I was treating it just like any other ship combat, you know, and that's a lesson to learn. So what, we have to target the individual heart? Oh, you don't have the scanner. I do have the scanner on the ship. Pad 26. Scan detected. Where are we? There we go. All right, repair that, rearm that, get some more petrol, and then go into starport services, and then we'll, uh... hey, Barons. <laughs> Thank you. Advanced maintenance, repair everything, all structural elements to get it back up to uh, fighting fit. Uh, but then I'm gonna go into outfitting. Um, so we'll... What the heck? These people at Jameson require luxury and first-class cabins before they board? They'd rather die? I did a video about that. <laughs> I actually did a video about that. Um, it's, do you remember when the... Um, oh, what was the station? It was in Empire Space, and they got bombed by uh, was it the, the thing. Oh, Mackenzie Relay, was that? Yeah, that was it. My, my, I know my Ashling video, yeah. Yeah. So I, I did a thing where, where people were trying to leave, and it was, so I had an orca there. And it's like, Sound Kruger? I expected better. <laughs> right, I'm going to get rid of this uh, nanite torpedo jobby. Uh, selling it? Yes. I don't care if it's engineered. I get no money for it anyway. Uh, but I will put something else there. What, what would be another good thing to put there? So, have they got AX stuffs here? What's cannons? What? What? I thought they got things here. I thought there was a mega market jobby here. They haven't got the things I need. Oh, experimental? Is that it? Guardian Gauss cannon. More Daka Daka. So, how many of these can we have now? They haven't got the, um, they don't have the AX multi-cannons here. Where do I get them from? Do I have to get them from the, what's the place? The, from one of the ships? Uh, well, yeah, that was Summerland. That was the one. That was so much fun to make. It took bloody ages though. You'll like the new one. There's a new one coming out. Right, we need all this stuff. Yeah, there, there's a new one coming out soon. I've got the last bit of music um, being worked on. S1 Studios is putting the music together. And so it's very, very close now. Oh, uh, 
Alistair, Alistair, thank you for the uh, the follow there. Hopefully I've got that right. Rescue Ship Cornwallis has multi guns. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, I'm I'm off. I'm off to Cornwall. <laughs> Came to Cornwall for, for to pick up some multi guns. Yeah, I thought maybe Tanner City would have them, but that's because I'm an idiot. And some scones. Yes, yes, we also need sc scones and some clotted cream. I've not been to Cornwall for ages. I like Cornwall. Last time I went to Cornwall, I met up with the birds. Lovely, lovely people that they are. All right, where are you? Cornwallis. Cornwall is nice. That's what that's what we're going with with this. So this is saying hostile. Why is it hostile here? Am I wanted here? Is there every chance that El Scorbius is wanted here? So the AX Maltese, um, they they're good against hearts, are they? Asking for a friend, you know. Oh, it could be a power play faction. That's a good, good shout. The good against hearts. Thank you. So I do like a bit of Daka Daka when it comes to like normal ships. Can't go wrong by putting as much extra material into something that doesn't want it there. Low armor penetration. Uh, you'll only get Cyclopses down with them. I'll take that as a total win, to be honest. So if you get the AX scan done and sub-target. Okay. My worry is it's like going to be loads and loads and loads of fighting. There's going to be other things there trying to draw my attention away. Uh, which way are you? Are you above or below the rings? Looks like you might be above the rings. Yes, you are. You're above the rings. Uh, for the CG. Oh, it's the CG. Oh, I'm going to sign up for that. It is sufficient to kill some of the scouts and hand in the bonds at Cornwallis. Very dark. That didn't help at all. Uh, so they are really good against Cyclopses, but useless against the high ones. Okay. So what's what's good for the the higher stuff then? If if you can't use your AX Daka Daka. Where is the pad? I'm used to having the auto docky thing. Yeah, it's probably down to being in a team. Although Alien Hunter's been doing this for quite a while. So Gorse for the higher ones. Okay, well I've got Gorse cans on here. Pad 07, it's like it knows who I am. You still there, Jan? Jan's gone radio silent. Right. Petro. Uh, so now we're going to get these things. Plasma chargers don't lose utility, though. I've not even seen them. I've not even used them. This is all new to me.
Uh, so yes, one commander can uh, get to hearts, and another can keep constant pressure with AX multis. This, I mean, this sounds like a lot of work. But we'll give it a go. So if we've got Cyclopses coming in, uh, then I'll be able to have a, have a crack at those. But I'm going to sign up for the um, thingy and see if we can make some money as well as um, bite them back. Right, so I'm going to put in here uh, a thingy. So it's experimental. Uh, where's the X multi cannon? Advanced X multi cannon. So that guy? What's the difference between that one? Is a oh fixed incompatible slot. How big is the slot that I've got? Plus two. Uh, exceeds experimental weapon limit. Why? Why can't I have more? Harumph. Is there a module that you can have that can make it so that you can have more AX weapons? I thought there was a module. Get a stabilizer. That's exactly what I'm talking about right there. I am such a bad cyclist. I need stabilizers. Do we have a stabilizer? Is it is that a utility or is it a I don't need research limpet? Yeah, but the hardly space for it in the pre vaults. How big is it? It's it's a class three. A class three. Holy moly. Okay, well, I don't need this cargo bay. Well, what's that even for? Oh, is that for limpets? Do I have another cargo bay? R right. Uh, get rid of this. It's 1E. E. The cargo is for limpets. So if I put a cargo rack in there, so it'll only hold four. Oh, no. Two. What? Okay. Auto field maintenance unit. Do I need that? Do I need that? I don't think I need that. That's for repairing while flying around, isn't it? Do I need that, though? Right, okay, so I do need that. Hull reinforcement, need those. 5D, bioweave shields. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this. Put in there a... Um, thingy where where are you where are you at the stabilizer thingy where are you at oh i got gotcha. you but i need to find a thing that does this i can't find the thing under e for experimental i guess i guess it's under stabilizers herp -a derp Right, if I get the, the three, that lets me have an additional um, thing. Cool, I'm learning all new things today. That means I can put this class two experimental multi-cannon jobby on here. And it's not going to whinge at me. Uh, I want gimbaled. Gimbly gimbaled. I mean, oh, because it's... Uh, these are... Incompatible slot. What? That's size three. Oh, they're stored. That's why. I'm being such a moron today. Gimbals, multi cannon. Get in there. Close to session. I don't need it. Okay, I got you. I got you. How's everybody holding up fighting? <laughs> How's everyone been doing, actually? Um, so, people who. Is there anyone who's had a crack at this? And doesn't normally do uh, Thargoid combat and thought they'd have a have a go as it's as it's closer to home. Uh, anyone who's not normally doing AX work uh, has, has this got you into it? Inquiring minds need to know. You made a Beat Saber map. Awesome, I love me a bit of Beat Saber. Oh. That's a good point. CG. Mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mission board. Community goals. Defense in Rata Desert against Thargoid invasion. 
Yes. Um, sign up. Think I will. XO42. How are you doing? Right, so I haven't done anything for this right now. Look at this. Look at this though, right? So we're already like smashing through tier three. We'll be at tier four soon. This will be done. It's only been a few days. That's a good thing. Like, you do not get to fight in in our marketplace. No. No. <laughs> That's where I get all my stuff. That great line from the tick, the cartoon. You can't destroy the earth. That's where I keep all my stuff. You've been kicking around the edges of AX Combat. Uh, I would rate myself as rubbish, but i uh, been having fun in Shindes, mainly hunting scouts for CG bonds, getting mission rewards, and uh, tickling the old the odd Cyclops. Oh, today I learned that the combat bonds from outside of Shinrata don't count. Ooh. You have beer-infused enthusiasm. Nice. What kind of beer are you drinking? Uh, I'm, I'm just going to launch. I'll set my thingy while we're doing this. But my new X multi cannon that's currently not in the fire grip. So that can do more pew pew. Uh, since I lost track of one cyclops for a while, I'm only assuming that uh, I actually killed one on my own, including its hearts. At least I know the technique to go after them sufficiently. You were handed in almost a billion of old bonds with no progress. Oh no. Uh, combat bonds in Shinrata are by a, a dedicated minor faction named Independent Rescue Coalition. That makes sense if they're doing it that way. Landing gear retracted. Right, I'm coming back to Shinrata. Hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, that makes sense logistically. It makes no sense in long terms. But... Uh, well, if you've it's, been out... It's where commanders live. You can't be independent as a commander in Shinrata. That's literally your home. <laughs> uh, you're Britain, Belgium. It's a... Uh... Oh, Chimay Blue. <laughs> the hangar is going to be... I, I've, I've had those. Um, I've not had... I've not had uh, Belgian beers for a while. You do make nice beers, though. Uh, I've got some glasses downstairs for um, delirium. So I, I got some delirium, delirium when I was over there last. That, that's headbanger beer. A beer strong enough that they put pink elephants on the actual bottle. So yeah, you're going to be seeing these. Where are you, Jameson? Let's have a flap around Jameson. Uh, or I could go to... Um, have they got different... So that there'll be conflict zones. Oh, have I got them turned off? Uh, point of interest. Are they point of interest? Medium intensity. I want low intensity to start with. Let's do this. Let's go there. Low intensity conflict zone. So that should that should be something that I can handle. He says, exploding immediately. Oh, behave yourselves. These are really hard to escape. I'm not gonna bother with that. <laughs> Let's go. So, Belgian beer is strong enough to make your ass fall out or fall off, and it's pretty good as paint thinner and outboard motor fuel. I mean, it's not that strong. When you're talking about vodka, it's like. No, if, you, if you want the nasty ones, it's Polish. Polish beer is bad. Oh, not that Polish beer. Uh, so, I mapped the in game theme from Battleborn. Okay. Uh, the game is dead now, but the mission intro is great. You find that. Um, 
I was listening to, I was playing um, uh, Chaos Reborn with uh, some some of the folks in our Discord, and um, and th that was good fun. But like, hardly anybody plays it these days, so we just play it together. But the music, the opening title of music, is fantastic. And apparently, it's played by like a real orchestra as well. Let's go here. Let's see what we got. This system is crawling with Thargoids. If we don't push them back, we'll be overrun. Think you can handle it? Yeah. Where are they? Why is it Pipe Nines here? What is that? That? That's what we want, isn't it? Where's the scanner? Basic scan ready. How do I do the big jobby? Oh, I need to scan. Does that have to be a, a thingy? Oh, hang on. Let me sort my keys out. Is it a key bind for the enhanced scanner? Enhanced scan. Yes, it is. Where'd I go? Oh, right, it's out of range. Let me go get him. Where are you? Come here, you. Am I in range? What's the range I need? I put the laser on there as well. Right, it's a Cyclops. Okay, so now I can get his. I can punch his ticket now. Um, right, you. I'm shooting him in the art. Get off me. Get off me. Absolute. Oh, put some pips in that. Oh, is that the heart that's exposed there? Uh oh! Run away for a bit. Wrong heart. Check the heart panel. Oh, it's that one. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'll have another crack at that. Come on! Uh huh. Have I got my corset jobby? Oh, it's fine. Come here. Am I hitting him in the heart? Am I even hitting him in the heart? I've got the heart selected. Oh, was that heart dead? Yep. Next heart then. Uh, we haven't got any other hearts. Um, uh, let's see, you can see the heart status, yes. Okay. Oh, what? oh, hello you. How do we get him to get his other heart out? You have to shoot at him. Is this heart sticking out now? Yes, that one's that one's out now. Yeah, he picked his shield down again. He turned around and said, "We can't. We can't." Ow! Ow! You stop doing that! Ow! That hurt. Get off me! Chinky Tr point blank shotgun there. That one's dead. That, that heart's dead. Uh, oh, keep firing. Keep him firing. 
How's, how's my sink doing? How we doing, sinky boy? Nearly full. Hmm? Oh yeah, nearly full. Let's bin that one off. I, I do need to get better. Um... Is this thingy out yet? Nope. Good at this, as you can tell. Is he hot? Oh, yeah. Yes. Come on. Exerted. Yeah, that one's crumbling. Oh. Stop blowing holes in my ship. See you, Andrew. Take care, matey. Uh oh. Oops. Oops. I think I need another button for that. Hey, stop. Stop it. That's just mean. It's just mean. Five percent, four percent, run. Oh no. Right, okay. Okay, I've got an idea. Got an idea. Right, so I've got a big red button here. So I'm gonna have it. So if I hold down the pinky button and the big red button, that that will be the shutdown field neutralizer like slam the fist on it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, so or you have to hold it down. And if, if... Ah, right, so we'll try this again. I don't know where it's... So where am I? Jameson. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so if I go into options here and go to controls, uh, ship controls, I'm guessing. And then we'll find the thing... It's always irritating finding the, uh... hey, back to ship controls. Come on, you. I didn't tell you to. Uh, does anybody know where it is? Miscellaneous? Nope. It's not there. Hold down all the buttons. <laughs> I don't think that will work somehow, but... Uh... It's a good idea. It's not in this. Uh, this is all fine. Weapons. All right, maybe it's in this. Weapons. Nope, that's not it. It is in MISC. It is. Landing gear. Boo -boo -boo. Shield cell. Shut down field neutralizer. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to that and that. Big red button. And to, let's see, what else have we got? Was that I don't have bound? Uh, jettison all cargo. Who, why do I need that? A panic button to jettison all cargo. What, it's above elite community meet? Yeah, that'll do. So that's got that set now. Da, 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 da. Back to come on, come on, resume. Okay, so where did we go wrong? Let's go and find uh, another low intensity. That was a low intensity. Oh, I'll need to be outside. Oh, that was a low intensity, and I still got exploded. Uh, the rest of the things now just practicing and getting a few times forced into rebuy. But the rebuy is cheap because it was an Arx ship. So at least there's that. When I was recording um, last year's video, God, I'll do one a year. That's how bad it's gotten. Um, 
I spent so much on rebuys in a chieftain just to get specific shots. Uh, your ship is now. <laughs> Get away! Oh, I'm gonna jump. Right, so. High intensity, low intensity, that's what we need. We, we love these low intensity. It's the one nearby. Low intensity, that's basic, I think, where I was before. Let's give that a crack. You have kept yours at one one scout kill per rebuy. Two two rebuys per scout kill. Yeah, I I'm not good at this. Navlak on me, says Alien Hunter. Okay. Navlock on Alien Hunter. Engage Navlock. Okay. Where are you? Oh, with the Cyclops. Let me choose your team signal. Is over there. There we go. NPCs killed it. Well, another will spawn in there. That sort of friend thingy out. Pretty sure. Die, Zeno Scum. <laughs> That's a great name. So, Alien Hunter, how are you finding the Fertilance as an anti Xeno ship? So, there'll be enough bugs, you reckon? I just need to have a participation trophy. I'm a winner! JT is getting interdicted. Uh, squashy. It's an anti basilisk one. So, what's the difference between fighting basilisks and cyclo cyclopses then? They're not bugs, they're a feature. Uh, uh, okay, I I'm nearby. We're getting in. We're getting in. Missed it. You go have a fast ship. I see. All right, I'm going in. Going in. I think I can handle it. The evidence so far says no. Oh, there's something over there. Hello, you. Oh, I really need to get better um, fire grip selections. What else we got? Where are you at? Three clicks out, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, 
Oh, he's so far away. I don't think I'm even touching this guy. I'm getting some money. Yay! We're getting some more. Uh oh. The first list is up here. Check my energy. Uh, it's got no energy or weapons. Oh, you think I should engineer the power plant? What's that? Ooh. Uh oh. I'm going to scan him. Right, I'm going to scan him. Come here. Out of range. Come hither. Out of range, out of range. In range. Scan, 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 scan. Right, got the information. Ow. He's having a pop. Heart is... Oh, right. He does not like me. Look. Ah! Why do we still, still scan them? Who's right the code for targeting stuff? Uh, I think it's because they're all different. Well, they're all organisms, aren't they? And how you doing, ship? Right. Ah, get off me! Yeah. Everything's falling in a bits. I keep getting close and sat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Thank you. Pips into pips into things. Go on, get some. Oh, is that, is that heart died? Destroyed. All right, so I'm just going to stay back for a bit. God, I'm so bad. Come on, shields. Hey, Gino, how are you doing, buddy? Right, let's try this again. Is this heart out now? Uh, we've got one left. Right, I'm going to target that. No, you don't. That's such a good button. Here they are. Nice. Awesome. Oh, eject the corset sink. Good shout that. Oh, yeah. Uh, eject the corset sink. 
it's off my ship. Yes, it's melting my uh, hull at 44%. Um, right, I think... Of course, it sink makes no sense. Well, you know, it does a bit. I'm going to synthesize me some repair limpets and repair myself a bit. Uh, limpets, limpets, limpets. I've got some. Oh no. I've already done one. Right, making my limpets. I've got to explain caustic sinks. Oh my god. Fine. Uh, but first of all, let me uh, get my repair limpet going. Repair myself. All right, so I'll explain it how I wish to. So we're repairing. I'm oh, going to get blown up if I do this. Okay, explain anything. When encountering alien species, we have no idea what uh, what offensive capability they may have. Um, such is the thing that we have encountered with the Thargoids in their caustic weaponry. Their weapons coat your ship in a substance that slowly and, if you're not careful, er irreparably erodes your hull. So, the only way to prevent this damage from happening and for, to stop it from continuously eroding your hull is to employ the use of a caustic sink. Now, unlike its namesake, the normal heat sink, which somehow channels all of the heat energy into something which can be ejected. Um, the caustic sink does this by um, somehow retrieving all of the all of the nasty chemicals from your outside of your ship and that have somehow made their way in to damaging your modules and so on into a handy little container which can be ejected. Now, quite how this is done is copyright and patented, and uh, people who uh, build them are under strict NDAs, so I cannot confirm nor deny. However, the use of nan nanotechnology has been whispered in hushed tones. So the very very idea that a, a caustic sink could work in the first place um, is only as... Uh, it's only as difficult to understand as how a repair limpet can somehow repair your hull. So I hope this explains caustic sinks and the legal vagaries which prevent me from explaining them any further to your satisfaction. I thank you. Or space magic. <laughs> well, if that's what you wanted, you should have said so. Right. Uh, do how much? I don't. I think I've only got a little bit of cargo, don't I? I've got one more limpet. Come on, limpet. Fix some more. They're full of little scutters. That's it. See, Spooky's got it right. It's tiny yeah. little scutters, and they've each got a little sponge in their claw. Little and nano scutters. <laughs> yeah, and they soak up one little dab of the chlorine trifluoride, and then they run, <laughs> they run back to the ejection box and just sit there holding it up proudly <laughs> with all of their mates. Hey, Lockshade. And then when they fill all of the little gaps, all the little cubicles, that's when the bar's full. <laughs> uh, Lockshade, I love it when I pop in to see how Scorb is getting along and it's all just math intensifies. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, is it true that corset sinks have a do not flush written on the side? Yeah, you don't want to You don't want to mess up your... Um... Oh, wow. I'm going to have to synthesize some more limpets here. Damn. Wait, wait, uh, no, no, it was that. No, it was that. I was right the first time. Right, it just says don't flush while you're in the station. <laughs> How many is this going to make? Three. Oh, dear. It says flush at least twice. <laughs> uh, otherwise, you need a gigantic space cleaning personnel, as in Space Force, for scrubbing the caustic stuff up. Yeah, all the Sierra Space Quest series. 
Roger Wilco. <laughs> so you see, how does how does this work? How does a repair limpet work? So is it like it's got little hammers <laughs> knocking out dents and it's more nanites, you know, is what it is. Yeah. So <laughs> what? Of course it missiles. Sod off. Can't you see? I'm busy. That's just roots. How rude. Hey, Tan. Hey, dear, mate. Am I still being repaired or did he die? Um. Uh oh. Range shift anomaly detected. They work by merging themselves with your ship. I imagine if they are patching the hull and when they run out of plates, they will die off. Yeah, well, they yeah. do die off. You see them get ejected. And how, how are you doing, Profane Pagan? Right. Oh, my limpet is trying to follow me. It's like, I got a minute. Yeah. Oh, no, that no, that's JT with the limpet. Brilliant. There you go. And I'm getting repaired at the same time. Awesome. Uh, sometimes when I use the toilet, I need a caustic sink and then a repair a limpet. Oh dear, Tant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is, that, is that what it is, Freaky? Uh, the, that scout just wants to show you the appreciation it has. Oh. It's very kind of it, isn't it? Right, so I'm a bit repaired there. Right, so where's the baddies at? Are they fight? Oh, they're fighting over there. That guy. That freaking guy. Let's have a scan of him. Advanced Xeno. Let's go and have a look, see what he's made of. My toilet needs de decontamination. <laughs> Sometimes. It's a basilisk, is it? Oh, not this one. Oh, okay. Uh, should we be attacking a different one, then? I'm going to scan it. Got his fourth heart out. Uh, why does it take longer for some weapons to to switch over for, for weapon groups? Ah, where is he? He's over here. Reasons. 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 Not reasons, just reasons. Ow! Shut off with your lightning! I think these are eggs from others. Boop! Listening to... Uh, Eat some boop! Listening to the commanders. Comment like that. I'll still use stupid bugs so I can shoot you! Yeah. Oh, that really hurt. If you get lightning, yeah. just keep shooting at it. Does that stop it from... I don't know if it's done so. Is that heart gone? Have we got another heart to do? Oh, wrong heart. Go away! You know what? Let's go backwards. If you want to come after me. I didn't think of doing that. How is my bleach? Oh, that's fine. Is that heart dead? Yep. Got a new one. It will be. He's not having a, a fun time with his life. Yes. 
What a mistake did I make? That's that heart done. Has it got another heart out? Nope. Need to shoot that. Let's go show the heart out. Let's go. Off to fuck heaven with you. Oh, he dead. He dead. Nice. Oh, we got more more baddies. What's so They don't zap you if you don't have any shields. That's interesting. It's a tactical decision on their part. Oh, is that right? Look what Freaky says. Oh, it's been scanned. Uh, okay. Oh, wrong button. What the hell is that? Oh, that's his lightning attack. Uh, heart, 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 heart. Not. He hasn't got his hearts out. That's a basilisk. Oh, crap. He's, he's getting slapped anyway. He is getting slapped. But... Yeah. Has he got his hearts out? Has he got... Yeah, that one is. is real oh get up me get up me why is that right oh i'm getting out of here yeah that <laughs> you better pop another one if you can because that hole is not looking good yeah that's not good why aren't my engines weak oh because i'm going backwards that's why <laughs> yes I am, oh dear. Get away from the swarm. Yes, working on it. That's not, that's the opposite. That's the way to the get away from the swarm. Oh, of course I can't boost. Let's get away from it. Synthesize some limpets and then I'll wait for them to all die. The swarms will yeet your hull from under your shield. Really? That just seems unfair. Alright, I'm gonna put well, some like, They're like very large bullets, you see. They get yeah. through the they get through the energy field and straight onto your hull. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Right, let's get some repairing done. Let's weld some more plating onto the ship. Twenty four million bond received. There you go. Nice. I think you may have gone pop. <laughs> well, that was the, the basilisk then. Mm. This is a low intensity. What the hell's a basilisk doing here? Uh, That's why the pre build was whole reinforcements. Uh, I see. Yeah, because I've never had one last this long, a ship. Be being the, mostly towards the end of a round of combat. That's what he's, he's doing there. Hmm. Uh. Did I make some more limpets? Where's my limpets at? Oh, I do have some. There we go. It's making the lock. Nothing on the scanners. Damn it. Where are they? Where is it? Oh, dear. That didn't put me up by much. Wow. This is going to take quite the... Uh, the session to repair, isn't it? Uh, well, yeah, you've got chonky hull. That's the point. Hmm. 
Oh, did I also have uh, an AFMU that I can activate? Did I get rid of that? I believe you kept it, yes. I've never used one of those before. Is it on a fire grip? Um, I've never used one. Unless it's on ship. Is it on the ship thingy? Uh, no, you use it per, per module. Oh, right. Uh, health, health, health. Oh, we're all right. It won't, yeah, it won't do much for your hull at all. Mm. But yes, it'll, uh, it'll fix your modules if they're not. Ah, gotcha. That's right. Okay, so that's, yes, it will unpower the module, so don't mess with your engines when you need them. <laughs> right. Uh, why are you guys uh, not let Shindeth burn? Because since Jameson's owned by the Dark Wheel, if it burns, it'll trigger a new lore event. We don't know that. We do not know that. I'm not willing to risk that. It's an interesting <laughs> tinfoil, though. That's a, yeah. that's a nice, a nice uh, corner of the pub I, tinfoil. That is. I did I quite, like. quite a bit of uh, stuff to, to like you know the turning the wheel uh, incentive. Yeah. Um, so we got the dark wheel all over the place, and nothing happened. So we got uh, them into wave and everything. I didn't. Yeah, that's right, Volcaris. I mean, you can't power the AFMU without them when you turn the power mm. plant off, so if you could turn it off, it wouldn't help. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't it's think... the only thing you can't fix is your power plant. Yeah, and and also, though, um, it does look like that the, the Titans were... They made a kind of a semicircle around the, the, the bubble, certainly around Sol and... Um, around there. We had a look at that at the beginning of the stream. Uh, so it looks like that Sh Shinrata is, is a valid thing. We don't know how they've been picking their targets, but if it's the most um, if it's the most used travelled system, then it makes sense. They're not idiots, these pugs. Well, these ones might be idiots, but the ones controlling and the yeah. green ones higher up, the, the tactician ones, they're not idiots. I was curious how they got here. Because, um... Same way they get everywhere else, really. But they are, when they get to other places... Space. Yeah, but they're, all of the places that they've attacked before now um, were places nearby the Coal 70 sector or, or oh. places that they perhaps... I don't know how they're travelling here. Because uh, the, the Titans had to scream through space in order to get here, didn't they? So we, we, we could... Has anyone well, checked they, the... They use plot drives scanner? to get here. <laughs> no, it works. If the deaths want uh, Jameson to fall, they can do it. I hope. Uh, you hope they will what do is... it. But they, uh, they oh, need no. a Dargo no, Deus Ex Machina new weapon. Players would uh, would never give up. Yes, that's true. They wouldn't. Yeah, they're, they're not, they're not going to make that happen. But yeah, the, the rate that the players have responded to this, mm. it's like, hey, get out of my shop. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't think I'm going to That's my have house. enough uh, limpets here to do a decent job with this. Uh, probably not, no. You'll run out of the... What is it? It uses that materials. But... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Commonest of commons. I'll, I'll just watch these two just take them to pieces. I would love to see something... Raxler related uh, come into the, the game, but I'm I'm hoping it's something that we find deactivated, ominous, almost evil, and massive. You know, you know, like when we found those guardian structures floating in space. I want to see something oh, like that. Yes. Imagine a yeah, huge so ring fun. structure, and um, and but it's just powered off in dark. You can only see it with the briefest. There's no lights apart from that, so it would be a dead structure. If I had my way. Yeah, it it would be a dead structure. Like the um, um, the mm. uh, the the signal, um, the, the you know the um, in Wales stomping ground, notable yeah. stellars, like one of them, a huge circle in a nebula. Yeah, just a bit but broken what with bits hanging off. What I'd also like to see though is for them to find another one, at, out in space, deep in in like in space that they find it gets the news and then loads of uh, commanders go there and uh and they activate it but once they activate it um 
it starts causing crazy things to go wrong and it detonates and takes out loads of stars in that area like massive supernova event and uh, then we find one near Sol so instead of trying to activate it we try to shut it down because it starts to activate I think that would be pretty cool and we wouldn't even know it's anything to do with Raxa. We just find this thing. I think, isn't that pretty much what the Halos did in Halo? Mm. But I'd love to see something like that. So everyone's like, oh, yeah, we're going to do all this research and power the thing up that's out in deep space. Big, big expedition out there. Yeah, so it just takes out, takes out loads. Supernovas are massive. Oh, it's a Hydra, is it? I'm currently just uh, repairing. I'd love to see something along those lines. You know, we, we have these expeditions to go out to it, power it up, meta alloys and everything to repair it. Hail. <laughs> and then it powers up and goes bang. Takes out so many stars. There'll be a huge hole in the galaxy map. That would be cool. They... Oh... Uh, the Guardian space structures would have been so much cooler if FDev had just let them be there and not make all these CGs and galnets about them. Plot twist. The last... What's that? The, the last Titan Sephika itself in, into a sun caused that sun to go nova in the bubble. I mean, the amount well, of... Uh, now you're getting into free space 2 territory. <laughs> yeah. That's, um, the, that's what happened with the Sheev and Juggernauts at the end of Free Space 2. The Tr amount of magnetic fields that, that you could see, that, that was, they're beautiful when they go bang. But it is totally ma uh, magnetic fields of plasma, isn't it? That we can see. With the rings. Oh my goodness. This is taking forever. Oh. One more in there. Slip three oh nine uh guesses for how to then again one one of the thirty three oh nine guesses here for, for how Titans get killed is by a commander loading up a nuke and flying into its more and dying permanently. That's very independence day, isn't it? <laughs> Less than halfway through. Am I being surrounded? What's going on here? <laughs> hey, no pooping. <laughs> A lot going on over there. That, that's lots of Thargoid action going on over over there. Uh, then every commander would need a big fat lady. <laughs> yeah, the cigar. <laughs> oh. Oh no, is that right? <laughs> oh, Joker Paragon's here as well. Oh, we got full wing, this is awesome. Uh, they should stop firing. They, sh they should, but it's like, it is what it is. Is that hydrogen going to come over here? They should also allow multiple repair limpets at once. They're just like stuck all over the ship. I guess there's a repair port where they, they send the nanite repair -y goo, whatever it is, in there. <laughs> Do 
this looks like the docking sequence from um, Interstellar, Alien Hunter. That's, that looks like he's trying to dock. Oh, it won't follow you 20 kilometers out. It won't see it. All right. That's probably a good thing then. Are you trying to dock with the ship now? <laughs> Yeah, we need a big bug of a big big can of raid. Is that limpet trying to? I guess the limpet's trying to uh, to attach and just go around in circles. Uh, arriving Thargoid has trouble seeing you uh, at eight kilometers if you get shot down. Right, and while this is doing this, I'm going to have a quick uh, AFK to go to the bathroom. Little bio break. Uh, I will be 37 and a half seconds. Five. Yep, I'll see you in a little bit. There we we'll go. just be doing some repairing. Back in a second. 37 and a half seconds, wasn't it? It was for once, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're still waiting for the Starg super weapon. If we don't get a planet killer, give us a space station killer. Oh my god. Uh, Joke Paragon's going to repair and rearm. Awesome. So we'll keep the instance here. Oh, uh, have we won this one? We've got to destroy the Hydra. The Hydra's all the way over there. Let's see if I can launch a limpet. Oh, I think if they kill Hutton Orbital, like that would be mean. <laughs> Just be so mean. Uh, I was very impressed by the size of the Titans. That blew me away when I first saw them. That's incredible stuff. And and when I first saw them, I was like, okay, that's a big model. How hot, you know, does, you know, it's, it's well, it is 3D modeling is difficult. Um, I was like, well, you know, that doesn't take that long. And then you see all the work that went into, like, taking them down and all of the effects that go into that. Like, it was totally worthwhile. So 62%. Oh! The Hydra's destroyed. Right. Let's go to the bar. We, <laughs> we've destroyed this one. Yay! It Yay. fled. Well, it says it's been destroyed. We got 10 million for it. It ran away. Welcome to the party, pal. Oh, I, I think that they should do give you a um a bobblehead of, of an anaconda. I think that would be cool. But you only get it if you go to Hot and Orbital in a Sidewinder. Caustic damage detected? I don't think so. Right, so if I go to uh, Jameson Memorial, we can have a crack at what's around there. So how many... So what we've got going on here? So we don't know quite what we've got here. It should give us a mug bubble head. Oh, yeah, I'd like that as well. That would be cool. That would be cool. What was the one I was saying? Oh, yeah, I said that you should have... Um... An anaconda bobblehead with a mug as a base. Yeah, that would be cool. At Hutton Orbital, so you can get your anaconda and it's on a on a mug. But I would base. We should be able to put the mug like like somewhere where it looks like we're drinking out of the mug. Well, you you've got mug holders in the adder. <laughs> yeah. Well <laughs> they have to be able to fit there. on all There's ships, wouldn't they? An yeah, anaconda right. inside, inside of the mug. Sort of wobbling at the top and the mug's the base. 
Uh, uh, Alien Hunter. I, I, I'm still thinks to you, aren't I? <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. Uh, can you use the mug like a melee weapon against a Thargoid? Uh, that would be fun. That would be funny if that's like the ultimate weapon. Two mugs and you sort of spin them around on the handles on your fingers. Yeah. It's going that. Down, 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 down. <laughs> the hot nobles of truckers would be like, we've been telling you this the entire time. Before the mug happens to be a battle cry. <laughs> Oh yeah, I I have the brave and bobblehead on my um, other account. Right, you can get some repairs. I don't know why they took it off the um, the shop. They have their reasons. Pad thirty. Is that the station firing at them? Yes, it is. Good job, station. Whoa! This is a bit scary, actually. Ah! Yeah, you see just how big the station guns are when you're getting close like that. Yeah, they're noisy as well. Cool. Pad 30, there we are. Has the station got AX multi cannons? Or are they just big enough that it doesn't matter? Like, we're throwing things the size of a mini at them. Oh, the thing is, though, ah, that's silly, isn't it? If that's what's going on, that's silly. No, it can't possibly be that. And there's a number of times in our community people are talking about the Braven. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we have we even invented the Braven Burger. Yes, Braven Burgers, yes. Uh, let me go and fix the ship up. 39 credits to... Oh, what's broken? Cockpit. Nothing else is broken. So why do they want 39 credits? It's just for the guy to go and have a look. That's all. It's fine, mate. Call Uh, it's probably for our protection. Is there a double Braven Burger? Oh, you're making me hungry. <laughs> well, it's a triple Thargoid, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, I just don't ask. <laughs> Where did they get the meat from? It's very spicy. Let's fight some of these idiots that are around the station. Okay, there's an interceptor there. Let's see what he is. I can unbind my pulse neutralizer now. Because uh, I don't need that on a thing anymore. I don't need that data link scanner. Uh, so that means multi cannons there. So then. Four stick launcher. I don't. Oh, yeah, I do need that. Oh, let's have it there. What was that? Get off me! I'm just doing my things! I just disabled the thingy. Yeah, I'm tr tr okay. I'm just trying to get away from these so I can do this. I should have done this in the station. 
but I'm a moron. Uh, Xeno scanner, yes. Let's have that there on there. Actually, we'll have that on one and have that on the two. And then that can stay there. These are there. Uh, the, 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 where's my Gauss cannon? I think that's on the. T oh, where's that gone? Did I get rid of it? No, I didn't. There it is. That's on the two. Beam laser. I don't need that on there, do I? That beam laser is pretty much useless at the minute. I'll put it on. No. Yeah, I'll put it on with the repel and put put that there. Stick that on second. Then I've got. What are you? Don't need you there. You can go away. And what else have we got on this one? Nothing. Right, so nice and simple now. So I've got that. Corset sink, beam laser, and, and repair. Corset sink. Where, <clears throat> where is my thingy then? Hey, Jude. Oh, it's, it's there. I've done it wrong. Hey, Jude, how you doing? You're in time to see Scorp doing his usual. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing with these modules. Yeah, I do. I do. Maybe not. Probably. Hmm, uh, maybe. I just I got them lined up wrong. Right. So now I've got my thingy, my Xeno scanner. Where is he gone now? Where, where is he? There's a bit of a fight going on. Yeah, just keep an eye out for the the white beam of death. You'll find him. Oh yeah, that's that's Alien Hunter's white beam of death. That is Alien Hunter, and he is shooting at nothing. Oh, you desync from it, probably. Uh, no, something's happening over there. Unless he killed it, there's every possibility that he killed it. No, that's true. Uh, he's fighting. What are you fighting? Oh, when he's eight kilometers out, that's probably why I can't see it. There's stuff over there. It's nothing. Oh, it must all be over here then, with, with all this noise over here. See, now I've so set up my bindings properly. Like, no, nothing there. It's only half past ten. Oh, something over there. <laughs> now I've set up my Oh, you know what I'm like. Yeah, it's very much. Right, so now I've got the enhanced scanner. Basic scan complete, but... Let's go over to him, see if we can say, Hello! Right, we're behind him. Come on, scanny, scanny, scan, scan. Get away from me! I'm just wanted to scan you. I want to take your picture. Out yet? Good to have you on the team. Let's kill some Thargoids. Yeah. It's just a Cyclops. Has he got his heart out yet? Yes. Come here. His heart's dead. Get the heart out. No. He does not like me. He doesn't like anyone. I'm human. He doesn't like humans. You got your heart sticking out now? No.
Oh, I'm going backwards, that's why. Let's get close to him. Uh, it, I mean, I, I do have this habit of, like, face tanking things. I don't know why. Uh oh! Didn't, didn't do it! No citizen said energy serve. Uh, <laughs> I have not considered doing that. Get your hot tap water, lads. I wasn't quite fast enough with my thing. It's a bit cold in here. Uh, how's the target? Has he died? Did he die? Uh, who has rotation correction on? It screws with the frame of reference for the goids. What? Uh, what? Yeah, I have, I have it on. What, what do you mean? It's a bug. Oh, that's a bit daft. I turned it off. What's this thing? Hey, you. You're going to die. Where's your friend? Not very far away. Where's the other one making all the noise? Oh, there's a, there's a big boy over there. What? A basilisk. Of course it's a basilisk. Has it been scanned? Is, uh, yes. Ah, go away, go away, go away. Has he got his thingy out? Yes. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? There he is. I don't know if that's hitting him too far away. Too far away? No, I'm hitting him. Did you put the heart out? No. Oh, I'm going backwards. That's not helping. It's fine. That sounds like quite a weird bug, doesn't it? More hot tub. Nope. Sounds like they're using, uh, I don't know, I guess, but like the wrong property for it for figuring out orientation. I think I'm too far away. Hydra, get off me! 
Has he got his heart out yet? No. Oh, what is in trouble is my uh uh corset sink launcher low power. Um excuse me. Yeah, that is not gonna end well, I think. <laughs> do you mean low yeah. power? Why is that low power? Because your power plant's been knackered, so oh, it's of course. reduced output put. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna dock. Get some repairs. Shield is guzzling system. Yeah, more than one pivot system. I'll take it. Just saying. Was that too far away? Hmm? Were you just saying, Joe? No, no, no. It's fine. As, as, as an expert in Xeno Conflict? I've got four. I've got four pips there now. It's good. Hey, I'm smart oh. enough not to fight them. I leave that to people who know what they're doing. <laughs> right, cause it damage removed, but I'm going to get repairs while I'm in the station. Oh, uh, right, so I've got to land pad 18. There it is. I've not, oh, I've not used the rotational correction off before. Huh. It's a bit different. Oh my god. Not like that. Don't like it. How does that how is that even a thing? I mean, there is a faint atmosphere in there. <laughs> I have in similar nick to the station. Repairing. This doesn't take me out of the fight, does it? Uh, let me. How do you manage to get them down so so quickly? Right, repaired, repaired, repaired. Let's go, go, go. You don't need to take me all the way in. Just fix me. Yeah, n noticed. So how does lateral? How does rotational correction? do it then because you don't see it applying thrusts in the station this is a new thing i found a new thing i didn't know about this oh gotcha Last heart. dead is he dead oh he's not dead that wasn't his last heart then has he got another heart then no his hearts are gone why is he not dead oh we have to shoot him in the face after his hearts are gone Oh, 
Uh, I mean, that that's a bit cost. Oh, god damn. Come on, caustic. That's that's a bit full. Let's remove some bleach. Dead. Oh, wow, there's another one. Another danger daffodil. Has he been scanned? Has he been scanned? Has been, but his heart tore. There's another basilisk! Eesh. Oh, profane, you take care, matey, if you're going to bed. Who's firing at me? So let's set it free. Five kilometers away, it's too far away. Have we got, has it got another heart out yet? Yes. And get up, key. Oh, you can hear that when the heart's exposed. Ah. Oops. Another heart out? No. Get the bleach off me. Uh, you can repair here. Has it got his new heart out? Is it? Nope. Oh, he's got bounty. Oh, I see. Out of range. Far away. Uh oh, the shields are applying. Ooh, why my shields are applying? Ah! They're on your six, matey. They're on your six. They are. Uh, hey, Jameson. Uh, uh, it's me uh, again. <laughs> you're right, mate. Hello. I need I need uh, to come in to have some uh, coke cans welded to my ship. me in a what? Oof. Wow, this feels weird now. Pad 30 again.
What was it? Th oh, 35. There's my pack. Run gear. I'll tell you why that's hard for me because like it's using the same joystick hat on, on my throttle for up and down left and right lateral uh so that, that's tricky interesting though i guess with flight assist off landings you don't need to worry about rotational correction do you Let's go back out. Hmm. It's really weird. As soon as, I, as soon as we get away from doing Thargoidy stuff, that's going right back on. <laughs> Bloody rotational correction. I did not realise just how much that does. But it's cool that that's a thing. I do like that. things along to die oh uh who's fighting that guy it's a cyclops uh, let's give it a crack he's got a half it first oh no there's a couple of them there what's that that's cyclops okay has he got a heart out yes Hey Jack! Oh, he died. He died. Have you seen what they made me name my ship, Jack? <laughs> Jack's little now, because it's an AX ship. <laughs> oh, what are you? What are you? Oh, uh, I've got to get close to scan you. Da, 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 don't mind me. I'm just here to scan. You are a... You are a... Oh, come on. Thargoid? Oh, he's out range. He's got out range. What are you? The Cyclops. Okay. Now we all know. Hey, come on now. He's not being very nice. Has he got a heart out? You got a heart out? No. Gotta hurt him some more. Make him run up and down a couple of flights of stairs, that'll do it. That'll get him exerted. Um, right, he's got a heart out. Right, okay. Ooh, that was a boop. That was a boop!
Come here, you. Oh dear. Stop it. Bean bean. This is why nobody likes it. Not doing very well. I'm back to 20% hull. Less. 27. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing well. Uh, hey, Jameson, can we uh, have a chat? <laughs> you again? Yeah, I, I, I need to call Autoglass. Let me in, damn it. Right, pad seven. Where's pad seven? <laughs> Twenty-seven percent hull again. Oh, right. So we'll keep this going. We'll do another ten minutes of this because I do have busy day work tomorrow. So we'll finish at eleven. Uh, this has been nuts, but this is the most success I've had doing AX stuff. Now I know I've I wouldn't have managed any of it if I hadn't had competent people around me, uh, but. Um, I dare, okay. I dare say that this AX build isn't bad. It's not bad. Like, saying as it's mostly the one from the shop. I, I put this... Um, I think the closest I can get to this in concept is if you ever played any Magic the Gathering and you bought a competitive deck, like a commander deck or something like that, that's what this is. You're not going to be winning any tournaments with it, but it will give you a basics and a theme so you can start tweaking it but the other part to that is that when you buy like one of these decks you will you'll get mythics and rares and things like that which you can you can have whereas all the stuff that you get for this it's been engineered um you can't sell any of them for anything but you can always replace the ship if you want to redeploy it uh, so there is that <laughs> yeah well, this is a very shiny ship. Right, so we are repaired. And how is my thingy? Oh, the mythic foil ones are the best. 39 credits. Have a look around. Make sure it's airworthy. It's just paint, isn't it? 39 credits again. Yeah, it's weird. But it's like an additional bit of um, hull that you don't get otherwise. Sweet. Someone's taking some backhanders there, for sure. Oh, totally. Are we ready, Alien Hunter? Let's go. Oh, got my landing gear down. That's not going to work. Uh, what have you got? Ooh, it was a hunter. I've never killed me a hunter before. What's a hunter do? It hunts heavy. How weird. Ooh, hello. That was cool. I've never seen one of them before. Did you see how it went all floppy? Ow, my shields are up like. Stop zapping me! Get off! It's a glaive, is it? That was cool. Why am I getting zapped? I just had this fixed. They're all out to get me. Oh, you! It's you, isn't it? Right, you. Why? Um. Uh, 
Uh, I'm getting melted. Where's he gone? What is he? He's a Cyclops. He's got a heart out. Ooh, I'm just getting gripped by something. Why am I... Oh, I guess my engine's... What's that? It's, it's what he'd want. Has he gone? Has he died? Right, so... What? What's happened to my ship? Okay, so note to any uh, devs. When someone deactivates your ship, it shouldn't stop. Like, oh, you've got no power. The power is not the thing moving it through space. Mm. Oh, it's all fluffy. It doesn't if you FAO. But it's like, just because the, the engines aren't moving anymore, just, it, it should be as if I was FA off. Oh, I'm going to have to go back inside. I, do, I dare say that I'm not going to be able to finish this. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to dock and we'll call time because we've got five minutes to go. And there's no way I'm going to be able to make a meaningful difference with all the, all the shenanigans that are going on here. Let's see if I can get in with 26% hull. Even if you kill the engines yourself, FA, FA on will stop you. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't it really make a lot of sense, does it? Right, we are going on pad 39. 39, like the credits that you keep getting charged. Yeah. Hey, mm. that's what I say, dude, buddy. Let's see if they charge you another 39 credits. Someone's having a po laugh. Oh, quite possibly. Let's see if I can get, 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 stop shooting at me. I'm at 21%, 35, no, it's 35. So the reason why I'm going all over <laughs> the place. That would be wrong, Freaky, that would just be wrong. What's that? And now some caustic missiles follow you in. <laughs> <laughs> it would be. So, I've had to turn off rotational correction because apparently that's a bug. Come that's really it. annoying. Oh dear. Right, so, that happened to you, really. It's brutal, isn't it? Brutal. Hmm. We gotta get these bastards out of our system. Oh man. As long as they're coming on the green, it's all right. <laughs> Is that... Oh, why won't it let me return to surface? Oh, because it, it's launch or nothing. The, do they get charge credits if it's reckless flying? Right, so so this is what... So in summary uh, tonight, so we went through the... We looked at the galaxy map and saw that it's quite plausible, actually, that um, they would have... You know, as, as you know, here is... Um, here is Shinrata. All around here, these are the, the, the Titans that came in. And then over there was uh, the Coal 70 sector coming through uh, Barnard's Loop. So it makes perfect sense that they would be able to come here. They would have done some working out to figure out where is the most densely um, populated place. Where would be the place to hit the hardest? And Shinrata is the one that where they chose. Where are all those... Where are all those bloody commanders that keep shooting at yeah. us that's what they're doing yeah that's what they're straight doing that one. they're getting straight for the, the the highest priority target so that's why i think they've taken on shinrata as opposed to sol no one goes to sol no one cares about it's, sol anymore it's just an admin center these days is yeah important. so because of that uh, um so i bought this ax uh chieftain i'm actually quite impressed with it 
Apart from it's, the... It's the well, yeah, I, I did remove um, some of the weapons and put some other ones on. There's been a little bit of tweakage, but it's mostly stuck. Uh, it's done well. It's done well. So I, I'm quite impressed with it. I was sceptical. I was sceptical. But I, I think if you're with a group of... If you're a new player and you're with some more experienced players and you want to get into AX com combat and you have 13 quid to throw at um, something, obviously not if you don't. Don't waste your money if you haven't got it to spare. Um, but like, it's not bad. It's not a bad idea. I did. I did. Um, you bought an egg chip. I thought you had to build chips. Um, you can buy them. You can buy them with arcs. So um, I paid thirteen pounds for this, and it gave me a ship that I can take straight into combat. Isn't the best build, um, but it's it is a build, and it's better than what I would have put together of my own volition because obviously I'm not that. Uh, I I don't do AX combat uh, as as a rule or as a thing that I generally do because it's very dedicated as we've seen tonight. Um, you know we've got Alien Hunter and um, uh, JT and um, who else was there? Um, all helping, yeah, all helping out, and we were taking these things out, and it felt great to be part of uh, a team doing that. Made me feel a lot better about my own um, skills with it. Learned some new ones tonight. Learned some new stuff. Picked up my own way of doing stuff. <laughs> Figured out they're not good things to face tank. Don't face tank Thargo because they don't like it. And they will zap you in the face with their brain taser. It's like, it's really not good. Can't even get the car doors open the right way. What? Uh, you can build a better one quite fast, though, if you unlock the engineers. Yeah, so I'm thinking, though, like, if you haven't unlocked the engineers or you're a new player, again, so these really work well for new, inexperienced players who maybe have got, I don't know, 50 hours in the game. Maybe they haven't done the anti thargoid stuff. They've just been doing normal things and unlocking other engineers. This is a neat way, a quick way of getting into doing, you know, the combat, which I think is, you know, I don't hate it. I don't hate it as a concept. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, so from doing that, I've made 125.7 million credits just from being bad at this with a team. That's not bad, is it? That's. I remember. Bad. I remember when getting a million credits was a big deal. Back in the day, you know, during the war. That's not bad at all. Uh, hand those in on rescue ship. I'm gonna yes, I'm gonna do that now. To, that that's a nice little thing to tie a bow around all of this, mm. and I'll hand them in because the CG is going very well. We're at tier three at the CG, so this will get completed pretty quickly. So it, sure, yeah, it will be definitely. Yeah. So I wonder what happens to the Thargoids who are here after the CG is finished. Yeah, Joker Paragon. Sorry, sorry, mate. I forgot your 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 name there for a moment while I was in the station. I have a bad memory. Tell you something else. I have a Ooh. bad memory. <laughs> and the other thing is. <laughs> ah, the oldest, the best. Yeah, well, they're certainly the oldest. Uh, so, so we're gonna go back to. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where's it gone? Right. So we're going to V eight eight six Centauri. You think that Shinrata will be defended before uh, the CG completes? Um, that wouldn't surprise yes, me. Absolutely. Yep. Because it very much is there. You can't take that. You can't destroy Shinrata. That's where I keep all my stuff. My stuff. Yes. <laughs> but there are th there is another mega market which you can go to in in. It means no more combat bonds, although some commanders will be hoarding the bonds. I mean, it's up to them what they do. I'm going to turn well, my ones keep in. Keep it from completing a little bit longer by hanging on to them. Yeah, but it's a gamble. Uh, what's that? Diagwandry. Do I, do, I have I been there? Or is that an angle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been there quite a lot. Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. If you do buy one of these um, anti Xeno ships and you don't do anything with it, Zero rebuy. Hmm. They are free to rebuy. Smash it into the walls all over the place and you yeah. just get another one. 
yeah it's actually not a bad thing it's, it's good to call more so it's only when you um yes i can, yes we can have signed earn up. with no cost so it's, yeah. it is good for that yeah yeah the only cost is your time and frustration ah but it's compensated by the learning experience you see. yeah and As. they come with stuff that are only need only useful for destroying titans so they they, ah, yes, that's true. they have the the nanite um, torpedo yeah. pylons and I torpedo pylons. pylons. <laughs> ah, yes, that was brilliant. Yeah, um, which you don't need for this. So I took that out, and I also removed one of my cargo things and put a weapon stabilizer on there, so I could have another AX multi cannon. Yeah, that is a good way of doing it. Yes, I did sign up for the CG. Which is why I can see the CG in here. But you're you're wise to question whether I signed up for the CG. It's not Very that I haven't true. done this before. And like, yeah, did you sign up for the CG? Well, oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm sure oh, well. I have. Check. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. That, that, That's never happened before. Yeah. So there is wisdom there. Indeed. Chat is wise in the matters of the school. <laughs> right, so I'm going to go to Cornwall and uh, drop off my things. Arnwall, yes. Uh, I learned one thing better verify than trust on things. That's, yeah, that's true. Better verify. Cornwallis, Cornwallis. It's, um... It's a British army officer from... Oh God, I can't remember when. 18th century somewhere. Cornwallis, yeah. Uh, I think this is below the rings. Really annoying, isn't it? Well, it's just a bit of ice. It can't really get in the way. Oh, but it will. Yeah, I think it will, actually. Just a bit. So I just go around the ring. Oh, bollocksy, bollocksy, bugger it. What now? <laughs> Rotational correction disabled. I made a mess of the thing. Close enough, though. Yeah, it's 50 clicks. And I didn't need to go through the all the way around the asteroid thingy. No. They've, uh, they've definitely enhanced the asteroid rings now, haven't they? Because if you look off to the right there, you see the density at the extreme right as it goes into the distance. It never used to be that detailed. They've definitely improved really? that recently, yeah. You see you've got your friend Beacon on there? Yeah. Lighting the way? Yes, yeah, lighting the way. Very kind. Tactical face plant. Yeah, I'm good at that. I will be there soon. <laughs> he literally is being a lighthouse. Whoa. It's going to zap me. Well, he's being the, the new palace. 
Yeah, I've got to slow down a bit first, so. Electro Where? noob hands. What the hell? Oh, there it is. Pad 7. Alright. Alright, JT. You take care, matey. Oh, we'll be scooting himself very shortly. Yeah, so we'll be. Yeah, I've got I've got a busy day tomorrow. Although not as busy as Tuesday. I've got lots going on, on Tuesday. Nuts this week's gonna be nuts, I think. Although not as bad as last week. Last week was insane. Insanely busy. I had on Friday. I had eight meetings in one day, just back to back. That's not right. No, it's lots Could of stuff. Could find doing. someone else? I mean, you know. Sorry, I've done a few already. I'm not doing any more meetings. <laughs> so else. I wish that's the way it worked. It doesn't, yeah. though. Oh, uh, let's go to the thingy. Starport services. What are you doing? Funny story. I ran a physics sim that oh. took over 12 hours to complete, and today realized uh, I'd done it at 24 frames per second instead of 30. So I said, do it. Or, yeah, it's, it's, or, oh, well, it's a physics sim. It's a physics sim. So, oh, right. phys yeah. I was going to oh, say the, the alternative is. I, I know you've, you, you've got uh, you've got your um, resampling whatnots, but yeah, but yeah. it's a sim that for, no, it won't be linked. Bollex. How do I turn this? I've signed up. How do I turn these in? What do I do? Contacts. Really? Yeah, there, sh there, sh there should be. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Mm-hmm. So now if I check this, You'll I not now... be in the zero percent. I will be in the right. Uh, one hundred and ten million credits earned. But. Uh, the top 100. Yeah, you're in the, 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 the bottom. I'm in the top. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the top 100. <laughs> so that's fine. The bottom 50. The bottom 50%. Yes. No, philosophical about it, though, uh, because everything has been proven to work, less a leap in the dark now, bit, just a bit of admin. Well, there is uh, that. There is that. Yes. Hopefully, it's just a. Uh, oh. that it has worked. That's good. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to call time on the stream as well. So thank you so much to everybody for coming along. This has been a fun a fun one today. Learned some things. Actually did learn some things. Uh, do. <laughs> to get teabagged. Really? <laughs> oh, that's a nice shot there. Though. That's pretty. So, um, yes. Played legs like that. Yeah. Mr. Pace, how are you doing? Uh, yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, so thank you. I'll be back. Uh, um, I might be back on Wednesday. We'll have to see how uh, my energy levels are after a stressful week. Um, obviously, you know, you can only work with what you got. But I'll be back on Sunday. Uh, so we'll see how this is going. Uh, we'll do this on Sunday. Same time, 8 p.m. Uh, so have a good time. Fly aimless. Let's see who else is. Um, same, bat <laughs> same, same bat time, same bat channel. Let's see who else is uh, doing some elite. Who we got? Oh, we got a. Uh, we did Stargoid last Dog. time. Uh, I think. MJ Reese. Who else have I got left in there? Yeah, it's not. It's not my usual. My usuals aren't there. Where is everybody? Well, I don't know. They're probably so, all there. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, we'll send you all over to Stargoid then. Oh. Lita's life stay dangerous. We could. Uh, Emery said, I've not. Um, I've not rated M M uh, MJ Reese before. And yeah, quite some time. Well, yeah, we've ever. got we've got uh, Sandog there as well. Jude says, yeah. Oh, who? Admiral Sandog, nineteen sixty-seven. He's there. Uh, where? I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. Still looking. Oh, right. Yes, of course. Uh, of course. Um. Yeah, I've not raided him before either. So let's do that. So get your hashtag blameless globus is ready. 
We're about to press some buttons. Uh, so let's get a raid going on. Right, so everyone be lovely to everyone. You all know the drill by now. Have a good time. Fly aimless. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next week. And other words as well. I'm tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> this this has been it's been a it's been fun. I've really enjoyed this. So take care now. Bye bye for now. Pressing buttons.